The time is 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m. 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m. Today is Sunday. The date is the 8th of March, 2020. If the soul is born to a female, Akosuya, Soul's characteristics, born leader, guide, and protector. My name is Kojo. It means I'm the Monday born. Soul's characteristics, Bajo, the calm and peaceful seed, the calm and peaceful child. See, this morning, I woke up and um, I got ready to have a shower. But then something, something made me feel to get redressed in the clothes I wore yesterday, which were dirty. Go out and, um, yeah, just say hello to the boys who are working in the house. In no time, when I got out, I, I stood there out. chatting to the boys. I heard commotion. Man didn't pay his um, child support. I went round to find my uncle and that landed um, him in a place with another guy in front of him that no man screaming and shouting at him. Hanging upon him. I calmly asked the guy, if only he could do this. what's the problem, please? I kind of knew what the problem and was. Perhaps it could change. So I explained the problem. Um, for a few months, there's the a tree. Thing is, yeah. And the tree is in the line. It's, um, it was planted in the line of the electricity Yo. line. So where the wire passes through, the national grid wire passes through. I'm very sure that no, when the tree was planted, the wires were not going through there. But when the wires started going through there, the government, the of our their agents, should have been wise enough it's to more realistic for tell the house owner that, song is right by law, that tree should be well, outrooted, exactly outrooted and placed somewhere else. He regretted but they didn't. A long time ago. So... Um, for a few years, um, when that tree is not trimmed songs, yeah. and it gets really windy, the, the wind blows the tree onto the lines and the lines touch and you get fires. You see, One time it nearly, it nearly burned down our house. You see, this has been going on. It's a rainy season again. Not carry on. So it's becoming windy. Well, and last night, no exception. So this morning when my uncle woke up, he went to the neighbor, the knocked on the door and explained the, the situation. Right now, and then the neighbor the turned around. Well, not the house owner, the but someone who lives in the house free. opened the door, but understood the, lies, the situation the and said, yes, um, you can cut down the tree. He left the door open so we can access the tree from inside the house. So we did that. Um, the owner's brother came back and he was absolutely angry he said we didn't speak to him and we said we know but we spoke to someone in the house told them the situation that person could have pointed us your way but that person didn't like that person gave us permission so we we cut it so the guy was getting really angry and we know and we knew and yeah and that yes he may have an argument or he does have an argument so we see, were being cordial with and we were being you understanding this guy started well, screaming you don't have common sense. You don't have this. You don't have that. Why would you do this without my permission? And we're still being cordial. And he he makes a comment. He looks at my uncle and he, he makes a comment, um, a derogatory comment, as if to say, who are you? Who are you? So I turned around and I told him, yeah, excuse me, sir. A mistake is a mistake, yeah? But you're not better than anybody here, yeah? And you're certainly not better than my uncle. So, a mistake has been made. Let's stick to that. But let's not start chatting blah, 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 rah, rah, rah. Because you're not the only one who can shout. You're not the only one who can be rude. Yeah, calm down. Let's sort out the mistake. What is the mistake? And I told him, listen, in a logical country like England, because the funny thing is, the owner of the house is from England. Yeah, yeah. so I know so he would understand where I'm coming from. In a logical country like England, yeah, I used to work yeah, yeah in where in the they recognize so that electricity is very yeah. dangerous and can kill. And yeah. This, yeah, when they put um, lines up, if they the have to, yeah, which they hardly do, 
Man, yeah, because the only dude on the countryside, because it's not so busy. In in the yeah, town, if you work, do this, so you're causing uh, you're causing transport. disruptions to transportation and everything. You're causing a hazard. This, um, yeah, because yeah. it's busy. So you only do yeah, this in the countryside. Oh, but fine, we're in Ghana. Bullshit, we're in Ghana. But they would have told you, yeah, immediately, yeah, to remove that tree. Or they will get the town council in this country, in Ghana, they call them tankas, yeah, to come and remove as is hazardous and is dangerous. And it could endanger human life. And it is endangering human life. Therefore, therefore, yeah, there is no two matters. There's no two ways about it. But that's not the case here. Although, and by the books, again, by the man. books, yeah, it's not the case because it's not practiced, but in like, the books, that is what it book. advises. Like she didn't even say hello no more. Yeah. So the guy started shouting and work, causing commotion and everyone's trying to calm him down. My uncle's trying to calm him down. I'm trying to calm him down. And then in no time, yeah. <laughs> the drunken master popped up. The drunken master, the house drunk, yeah? So in every house, you got one. In Ghana, they say in every house, yeah? You got a gossip, yeah? You, you, got, you, you, got, you got a witch, yeah? You got a wizard, yeah? You got an idiot, yeah? You got a fool, you got Jafunso, and you got the drunken master. So the drunken master came out. You've even got a midget. The midget was the one I was talking to, yeah? The one I was talking to cordially. Now the drunken master comes out, yeah, and he goes straight to my uncle. And he's like, who are you? He's trying to impress, yeah, his sober family members. So today they will think he stood up for the family, here's some money to go and eat. So then he grabs my uncle immediately, yeah, I grip him so hard, yeah, that he just stands still. And I told him, Cordially doesn't mean weak, idiot. Yeah, we calm down. We calm down, and the argument starts ensuing. You know one thing I noticed about Ghanaians, yeah. Put the law aside for a minute. This is why Ghana suffering. They they do not understand. Yeah, they do not understand um, the difference between life and death do you know do you know one of his reasons one of his main reasons yeah for being so angry he said yeah that this tree yeah as we can see was planted there yeah for for the for the beautification of the house so it's not just a tree that was that was just there by accident so we should have known that it's wanted there and i said Uncle, I understand it's wanted there, but now I want you to also understand me, yeah? My life was being endangered, yeah, by, by your desire to beautify your house. Now, I have to wear, yeah, my life over your beautification of your house, which, which can be done any other way, if this way is not suitable. Uncle, let's be logical. Drunken masters, they're flipping out. Drunken masters, they're flipping out. Getting mad. I had stepped out with the intention of just saying hello and coming back out. So I hadn't even brushed my teeth. And there I was now, yeah, in people's face like, what? That alone was making people stand still. You're breathing stillness into the situation. It's Sunday. Most Ghanaians are going to church. Most Ghanaians are going to praise God. But most Ghanaians do not understand, yeah, that the God that they're going to praise, his ideology is to preserve life over death 
Life over death. Life over death. Most Ghanaians don't have this common understanding. In my neighborhood, there are Ghanaians, yeah? Look, look, at the, look at the environment we live in. Look at the poverty we live in, yeah? And there are Ghanaians, yeah, who keep yeah, their lawns so well manicured. Every single day, you see a guy with scissors. And it's not a small lawn. Every single day, he will, he will trim it. Every single day. And you see this guy, yeah? I'm happy for him. He, he, he's doing okay. It's good. He's got a job. But you see the gentleman who owns the house, yeah? He's willing for his little turf to beautify his little space. But you see the bigger Ghana. As if, as if, if, if the bigger Ghana, yeah, was, was as nice as his lawn, that it wouldn't, it wouldn't make his house stand up. Some people like to build their house in the middle of rubbish. Because it, it gives you an idea, yeah, that, that they're richer than they actually are. Because then you, you will compare their livelihood to, to the mess around them and say, nah, this guy must be that wealthy. But it's not true. It's not true. Wealthy people, yeah? They can turn around and say, within 10 miles, 10 miles of my living space, I'll have restaurants within that 10 miles. I'll have clubs and chilling spots I go to within that 10 miles. So you see, 10 miles within my chilling space. I'm so wealthy, I'm going to make it livable. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for the government. And you see my area, Batrona, yeah? There's enough, but they don't care. They don't care. And then they, they go to church and they pray for God to add more. And the poor people follow them. And let me tell you something, the Bible tells you, yeah, that if God gives you something, you don't manage it. He won't add to it. So you're managing your little spot. You're forgetting Ghana. But get this. How do you think, yeah, your little spot will get any bigger and your little spot will shine? It's when the whole nation is shining. It means economically we're healthy. We're healthy. And this is the problem. This is the problem of Ghana. You see, um, religion, 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 not just Ghana, the world. Religion have pe has people, yeah, um, would you call it, um, um, turned inside out. Religion tells you that um, I'm leading you to life. Every religion, every, every religion on the face of this planet, yeah, it tells you one thing. Tells you. By, 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 by their voice, they tell you. Or by their, by their writings, they tell you. Yeah? This will lead you to life. This will lead you to the meaning of life. To the understanding of life. To the point and the origin of life. This will lead you to life. So let me ask you, what is life? What is life? Please type, type into Google, what is life? And then get the answers from the doctors, from the psychologists, from the physicians, from the scientists, from this, from that, from that, from that, from that, from that, from that. And then get the answer, yeah, from me too. I say this is what life is. Life is four, yeah? Life is four pillars. The creator, yeah? Whoever you believe the creator is, I believe the creator is Nyame, yeah, he created, yeah, or she created, yeah, omnipotent, we're all one, yeah, woman, man, man, same, yeah, God is neither man or woman, yeah, God is, done, yeah, so get this, the creator, yeah, built life, life is a building, I want you to think of life like that, life is a building, a building is something that, um, or a structure that sustains, yeah, living beings within it, yeah. Not necessarily living beings, but a living building is one that um, sustains and regenerates living beings. So life, yeah, we it keeps generating itself. It's a living being, but this living being that is life 
is a building and that building yeah it sits on four pillars pillar number one earth two water three air four sun when these yeah come yeah to a four-sided tip of a pyramid it means water is represented air is represented um, earth is represented and the sun is represented everything growth everything is in there and inside that life is produced that's what we're in we're inside yeah a four-sided pyramid called the pyramid of life this is fact this is scientific the human you are earth 20% water 80% air is absolute to you and the sun for your growth if you're missing one of these or if you're deficient in one of them yeah life will be reduced dramatically dramatically for you so let, let's assume yeah you, you, um air is reduced you're dying what does that mean it means out of the four-sided pyramid one element yeah is is being reduced therefore you are getting weaker if it depletes completely you're dead it means you want you're only attaching earth and there's still water in there but because there's because your you, your heart is not beating and, and taking in the air yeah you're not able to soak in the sun you're only two pillars and soon water would leave earth and earth will dry and you're back to nothing life is nothing life is four pillars that's it scientific if you're not earth water air and sun combined to a tip you don't have life but when you are earth water and air combined to a tip and sun combined to a tip you have life so all these religions yeah what do they tell you life is because this is what i tell you life is and I'm telling you that everything they tell you life is, those are actually by the right definition called the act of living life. What do I mean by that? Once you have connected the four physical pyramids, um, although air is not physical, it's there, you know. So let's, let's just consider them. The four pyramids, yeah? Sorry, the four-sided pyramid. Once you have connected that, that's it. You have life. That is life. The connection of these four things. Now, everything you do whilst you have this life becomes the act you've done or you did or you're doing whilst you had the opportunity of connecting the four elements. The act of living life is different from life itself. Life itself is scientific, mathematical, and everything. Earth, water, air, sun coming to a tip. So, if it is true that these religions are leading you to God, yeah, then let's logically, yeah, let's logically see one. Life is earth. The first thing they do, yeah, is take you away from natural earth, life, and put you into formulated earth mixed with poisons. Yeah, and, and, and the human's best judgment as to how the air should enter. That's the first thing they do. They take you away from earth, life, one pillar. The second thing they do is they put a wall around you and a roof on top and this this doesn't properly help circulation of oxygen and also doesn't help yeah um um what do you call it dissipation dissipation of carbon dioxide which you produce when you talk fart you know just being because they're bodily gases which your body produces but they're unhealthy for you so you always need to be aired out so immediately as your body um releases them the air blows it away and you don't breathe it back in the first the second thing they do yeah is leave you 
in yeah um a carbon dioxide filled room yeah um co2 gas filled room yeah that's the second thing they take you away from life the third thing they do the roof the roof yeah it's it prevents the sun yeah the growth formula of life it prevents that from accessing life you but they're trying to lead you to life and life is about growth there's no there's no life without growth if there's life there will be growth therefore if you have life you need to access that which grows you the sun they take that away they put a roof on top a pyramid roof and water 80 percent of who you are is water 80 percent eight zero 80 percent the largest percentage of you is water fluid and get this they 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 take you um into this closed environment which is cut away from life and you see the water is treated water but not not naturally treated water only naturally treated water is living water and and from that moment they can put anything they want in their taps and you go and drink it mind altering substances listen i'm just going with this watch and you go and drink it but watch whether is a Catholic church, a Protestant church, a mosque, a Hindu temple, a Gujwari, all this and all that and all this and all that, every religion. They write, we're taking you to life. They say, we're taking you to life. But their actions are reversed. Their actions are taking you to death. Their actions are taking you to death. And this is a fact. It's scientific. You, you, yeah? Everything you see before you. Listen, there are only four things on the face of this earth. There are only four. I asked someone this question. They said, oh, why can you say that? There's the houses, there's, the, there's this, there's that, and this me. All compositions of earth. Earth. One. Water. Two. Air. Three. And sun. Four. Everything you see before you, we didn't grab it out of nothing and build it. We took it from Earth as Earth. There are only four things. And you see the human. Yeah, you have to realize, you see these four things. Each one of them has its own energy, has its own power. Earth, we all know, is a magnetic field. We all know it's really strong. That's Earth. Water, we all know, has magnetic fields. We produce electricity with it. Earth, we produce gases with it to produce um, light, to produce electricity. Powers within these elements. Air, we produce electricity with it. We use it to move things. Powers within these, energies within these. Sun, we use it to produce electricity to produce that, to produce this. Well, you see the human, yeah? All these individually have their individual powers. And their individual powers are great. But get this, they are separate from each other. But only in the human, only in life, do they combine to make one. Only in life does earth, water, air and sun meet to make one you what does this mean for you this means that you see you yeah you if you want to go to church yeah it means you you are trying to access life if you want to go to a mosque it means you are trying to access life if you want to go to a Gujwari, yeah, it's not because you want to go to a Gujwari. It means you, 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 all you're simply trying to do 
is access life that's it wherever you're going yeah to to seek answers yeah um if you want to die you won't care if i was a, if i was on a course to kill myself right now do you think i care what answers i get and what answers i don't get nah fuck your answers i'll kill you and i'll kill myself but no if i want to live then i care by the answers i get therefore i'll seek them so the places you go to seek these answers ask yourself are their actions coupled with their words I'm telling you yeah this is what I feel like doing I feel like taking my speakers to the beach I want to I want to get a contraption when I get money made which allows me to just um, attach my speakers to my car just roll them to a spot down the beach and just hit it down Sakumono beach where the rocks are and just hit it why? because I'm trying to access life so I'll go where earth meets water meets air meet sun I'll go where my God works best from where all the four elements meet and I will plug myself in to the antenna of life and enhance my chances of dialing the right number The roof took away the sun, so sun's energy was lost in your prayers. Man's action poisoned the waters, so the waters energy was lost in your prayers. Man's action hurt earth, so earth's energy was lost in your prayers. Man's action made air filthy, and filthy air doesn't go back to the maker so your prayers were lost in the wind your head was clouded with carbon dioxide all the singing and shouting and farting in between all the incense which in open spaces you actually smell listen if you were to burn incense on the beach yeah you will find it's different You will find, yeah, it's different. You will find how it makes you feel in the church is different from how it makes you feel on the beach. You'll be a lot more clear-headed. The problem with clear-headedness is bullshit doesn't really cut well under clear-headedness. I can imagine, yeah, after, after praising and, and singing with you for like two hours and, you know, talking to you for a little bit. I can imagine me going, you know what, I have to buy a petrol, so please, here's a can going around, put money in there. Your head is too clear. In your prayers, you're asking Nanenyame, God, to give, you, to give you sustenance so your kids can eat. All of a sudden, you're going to realize, hold on, that 20 cities you're about to give me, yeah, can feed your kids. You'd be like, nah, bruh. And I'll be okay with that. Why? Jesus Christ loves little kids. <laughs> For the Bible told me so. You understand what I'm saying? Preachers are buying Lamborghinis. Uh, what would you call it? Trailers. That, 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 that are houses, yeah, trailer houses, but the, the price of these trailer houses can buy, yeah, a whole, a whole, let's say, um, how do I call it, a whole community of a, affordable housing for at least, at least, let's say, 
200 families. This is a man of God. Jesus Christ said there, yeah, Give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give unto Nyame what belongs to Nyame. What did Nyame create? Nyame created earth, water, air, and sun. Yeah? And then he put, yeah, everything, yeah, in it. But get this. What we choose to shape earth into, Nyame didn't create. We did. Nyame created gold. In fact, he didn't even create gold. The earth, the earth, he left the cold within the earth's um, system for gold and diamond and everything to be created. But how we shape it and how we use it, he didn't create. That's our free, free thinking. That's our free mind. And Jesus realized that this particular free thinking, money, this particular one, it's unhealthy. Is unhealthy. So he said, give back unto he who created it. But he never said give back everything. Because some things that at the time he never said give back um sandals to who he created sandals. It was good for humanity. He never said give back clothing for who created clothing. It was good for humanity. People argue that we were born naked. Yeah, so we should be naked. If that's the case, whether you, whether you believe in Jesus or not, whether you believe in Muhammad or not, whether you believe in the Buddha or not, whether you believe in whoever or not, none of them were naked. My ancestors, yeah, they were topless, yeah, but they still covered their decency. We understood that. Listen, I'm telling you, yeah. in um in in England, yeah. Get this, it's like it's madness, it's cold, yeah. It's always raining. You see, um, on Earth, Earth, Earth is an atmosphere, and you see, Earth. Your body, your human body, is just like Earth. Not every part of you is always well at the same time. You understand what I'm saying? Your head may be okay, but your belly is aching. Yeah? Um, your belly may be okay, but your toes are aching. Earth is the same. Some people are living a relaxed life right now, whilst a volcano yeah, is, is you know, destroying some people's livelihoods right now. You know what I mean? Different. You understand what I'm saying? But it all, it all, somehow, yeah, goes balanced and helps. Where some people lose, some people gain. Balanced. He said, for the lack of knowledge, my people perish. Ghanaians do not understand the meaning of life and death. That's why, get this, Ghanaians have accepted corruption. Because they, 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 they can't seem to fathom how corruption is connected to the death rate in their country, in their nation. They can't seem to equate yeah, corruption to, to um, starvation, to impoverished lives, to, to everything. They can't seem to connect the two. Listen, because of because of corruption, yeah, um, the roads, the roads. Any government that comes on only builds roads when it's close to election. They use roads as a, as a, as a, as a template for winning elections and for and for dethroning other people. But get this, you see roads and the democratic system, which Ghana claims to be, yeah, they are part of the national infrastructure, yeah. And there are measures set into place, yeah? That means that it doesn't matter who is in power, you carry on. But in Ghana, there's no accountability, yeah? It stops. It stops right there. 
when they go off power, it stops. In fact, when they when they get re-elected into power, it stops. And then they'll take their vote rigging elsewhere and get, you understand what I'm saying? Potholes everywhere. Monday to Friday. Come and see our kids. In Trotros. Navigating potholes. Navigating potholes. Come and see our accidents. Trying to escape potholes. Come and see the death toll. Come and see the disaster. Come and see why Jesus Christ said, For the lack of knowledge, my people perish. What is it? Is it, is it that Ghanaians yeah, don't know how to build roads? Of course Ghanaians know how to build roads. The roads are there, we can see them. But what is the problem? The problem is Ghanaians do not have the knowledge of proper road building. But not only, no, that's not the only problem. Because they can acquire that knowledge. That knowledge is for sale, it's on sale in Europe, in Russia, in China. It's for sale. But especially from America. It's for sale. They will come in as advisors. I work with the Ghanaian government. For the lack of knowledge, my people perish. If you don't know how to do something, yeah, turn to he or she who does. Seek advice. Seek the knowledge of it. We're being offered that. Ghana is being offered this. At a very good price. But why do you think? Yeah. They're not taking it. They're not taking it because you see the American company. Yeah. They are accountable. When I say they are accountable. I mean yeah. When they came in they realized yeah. That it wasn't straightforward that you come. Sign the contracts and get the job. They found out that no, that minister is only not responding because they're waiting for you to call them, sit them down in a bar and cut them in. They refuse to do that. They refuse to do that. And because they refuse to do that, the Ghanaian government went and got a different company, yeah, who have never, because this company I'm talking about is called Eco Roads. They have roads in Ghana here. They built roads in Ghana here, which they built as test trials for Ghana to see, to see, listen, to see that if what they're saying is true, the roads are still here. Listen, it's been over a year, not one pothole. Solid. But because they won't cut corruption into the game, the Ghanaian government went and gave the contract to another company but there is no record of this company having test trials in Ghana here there is no record of this company yeah going through the legal wrangling at the proper time so even if they have the paperwork if you check the dates you will realize this was all pushed through for the lack of knowledge, my people perish. But my people know where the knowledge is. So it's become, for the sake of corruption, they're willing to lead the people to die. For the sake of beautification of one's house, they can't understand why another has to protect their lives. I'm telling you, yeah, come to the beach. Come to earth, water, air and sun amplify amplify your life's antenna and I don't care what religion you are I don't care who you are but I'm telling you there's only one maker and however you see him you will get the message yeah that you just you because you were created individually need to make your piece of time on this earth beneficial to all mankind.
I'm going to call out all our names. In Hebrew Iconology T993, we believe in seven souls. These seven souls are split into two sexes because there are only two sexes, male and female. So we're going to start from the Hebrew calendar, which says Sunday is the first day. Sunday is the first day, the sun's day. Because the Bible says that from darkness came light, the first action, and then light was pushed to one corner and moon was given a separate corner, the second action. So, Sunday. Male, Kwesi. Female, Akosuya. Soul's characteristics. Born leader, guide, and protector. The sun. The second day, the moon was pushed to the side, the second action. Monday, moon's day. Moon's day. Male, Kojo. Female, Adowa, the dance of grace. Bajo, the calm and peaceful seed, the calm and peaceful child. Tuesday, Kwabena, Abena, warrior, fierce, compassionate. Wednesday, Kweku, Equia. Controlling advocates. Controlling advocates. Thursday. Yao. And ya, yeah, like my sister. Confrontational and aggressive. Stop there for a minute. The Bible says that on the first day this happened. And then we go all the way to the fifth day. On the fifth day, earth was completed. And then on the sixth day, on the sixth day, human, humanity was brought. So let's go to the fifth day. In the Hebrew calendar, the fifth day is Thursday. Thursday in Hebrew iconology is Yah and Yao. And the characteristics is confrontational and aggressive. And Hebrew accounts, we call earth, Asasi, Yah. Asasi means earth. Yah means the Thursday soul but the female so we're saying yes earth is a female and she was born on thursday on the fifth day just like the bible says and she's confrontational and she's aggressive just like she is friday if you are for the girl kofi for the boy like my daughter if you are creative innovative and adventurous creative innovative and adventurous check out president donald trump president donald kufu trump saturday saturday the boy kwami kwami the girl ama characteristics the ancient wise one the bible says on the seventh day the seventh day denotes the hebrew sorry the hebrew calendar the hebrew calendar says saturday is the sabbath day saturday is the final day the day god nyame sat sat meaning yeah that is the day all wisdom yeah all wisdom for everything that was put within life for us to access was tied on the seventh day seven in the bible represents the number of perfection and seven represents the number of god seven days in a week seven souls the soul's characteristics of kwami and ama the ancient wise one the ancient wise one we need to connect with life in order for us to do that we need to understand life good afternoon
Hold on. Good news. Hold on. Hold on. I was going to cut off, but we may have some good news. Okay. I believe Robert will be meeting with the captain today. I hope we will hear something clear and deciding. I think Robert is leaving Ghana on Thursday. Okay. The captain is the second in command. The highest ranking soldier and policeman in Ghana. The protector of the president. Oops.
Ghana? Ghana. Who's Ghana? Me Ghana. You Ghana. Yeah? Boy. No, me Ghana. Me Ghana. No, me Ghana. Me Ghana. Okay, you Ghana. What am I then? Me Ghana? Me, me? Me puppy. Yeah, me and you Ghana. Hey. Oh, okay, you Ghana. Puppy. Oh, uh, me puppy. Who's Ghana? You Ghana. Ghana. Yay! What? Yeah! You Ghana. Go Ghana. Go Ghana. Go down Ghana. Go Ghana.